Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a personal hotspot on your iPhone, as well as a couple features that you might not know about. So let's get connected. Hey, first, I hope you're hanging in there. I mean, all this going on is really weird and well, scary too. Anyway, I hope your family is safe and sound. Now this might sound basic, but uh, I've had a few people over the last couple weeks ask me about setting up a personal hotspot on their iPhone. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. We, we welcome questions, you know? <laughs> there's no shame in asking, unless it's in the comments on a YouTube video. There's lots of shame there. Lots. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is check out your carrier's data plan. Some plans include a hotspot, some charge you a monthly fee, some charge you as you go, so you wanna get that all figured out. Luckily for me, I use Google Fi, so it's already included. <laughs> Great carrier choice, me. Thank you, me. Okay, once that's sorted, we're gonna move on to the iPhone. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into settings, and you're either gonna go to cellular personal hotspot, or you're just gonna go to personal hotspot. From there, you have several options. Let's go through them. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you can either toggle on or off, allow others to join. Below that is the Wi-Fi password field. And here's where you can customize your password. You just have to remember that it needs to be eight characters long. Also, um, if you change your Wi-Fi hotspot password, any device or computer, your friend's computer, will automatically be disconnected when you change the password. Whoops. Next on the list is family sharing. And this is gonna allow you to share your personal hotspot automatically with any family members or when they ask for your approval. Uh, to join the hotspot, not like a, a validation thing. That would be weird. <laughs> to set it up, tap on family sharing and then use the toggle to turn it on or off. Now that we have all the settings sorted out, Let's talk about how, to quote the band Elastica, connection is made. the vital connection is made between your devices. Your personal hotspot can be connected to via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or a USB cable. And to know when a device is connected to your phone, well, you'll see the color blue and the status bar. To add a device onto your hotspot over Wi-Fi, you're gonna go back into settings and open up that personal hotspot page you were on earlier. You're gonna to wanna to leave this page up until, well, the vital connection is made. Elastica. Damn fine band. Next, from the device that wants to join your hotspot, open the Wi-Fi settings. Look for your iPhone's name, tap on it, and if you're asked, enter the password. That's it. Now, if you're on a Mac or PC, you can actually use Bluetooth to connect to an iPhone's hotspot. I know how 2000s of us. Okay, so this is a little back and forth to get it set up the first time, but you're gonna go onto your computer and open up the Bluetooth settings. Then you're gonna pair the computer to the iPhone. Then you're gonna go to the iPhone and you're gonna type in the code number that's shown on your computer screen. Then you're gonna go back to the computer and connect it to the iPhone. Last, if you wanna connect your computer to your iPhone's hotspot with USB-C, and I don't know why you wouldn't wanna use Bluetooth, it's not like it's kind of an involved process, well, it's pretty easy. You can actually use your iPhone's charging cable. Plug the one into your iPhone, plug the other into the computer, then a pop-up on your iPhone will ask, do you trust this computer? Tap trust. Then back on your computer, you're gonna open up the network services and choose the name of the iPhone. Hey, now that we have the settings on our phone set up and we have the initial connection to all our devices set up, I got some good news for you. Last fall, Apple gave the iPhone hotspot a sweet ass upgrade. It's called iOS 13. And what this does is any device that's connected to your phone's hotspot will stay connected even if the lock screen pops up. That's great. Ooh, I almost forgot. So if you have a cellular iPad and you wanna use it as a hotspot, well, the good news, everything we've been talking about with the iPhone applies to the iPad. So that's really all I have today. This was a nice short one. But if you have any tips 
for using your iPhone as a hotspot, throw them in the comments. And if you have any questions, throw those in the comments too. Also, if you haven't yet, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. We have a new video every week. We cover a range of topics from computers and phones to software and smart home stuff. Last, you know what's coming. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. Hmm, let's see here. Who else can I, who else is connected to this? I still wanna do a little disconnect joke on. Hmm. Oh, I just connected him.